Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning sub, my growing extended beautiful family, as always, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly, truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while, I have not already, please... You know, drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And if you feel like the videos just give you a good vibe or uplift that, you know, you can truly appreciate, please go ahead and give a thumbs up and share. I'll be greatly appreciated. And um, the video I'm about to do today is called Twin Flame 101. Hey, Oka's being selective on energy. Um, on energy ownership vibe and frequency. Um, it's true because a lot of times, you know, we're going through this. Uh, this transition a lot of times it's hard for us to be able to um uh i'm trying to say that word do you tell the difference between your energy your thoughts other people's thoughts your egos your fears and stuff like that anytime you know when we get the truth sometimes uh it can be very scary it's like you know you'll have that little vibration it's like your soul and your heart and your higher self is trying to get you in that alignment you know you're you're working to be the best version of yourself and going through that you're dealing with a lot of old wounds that you're trying to heal you're trying to be able to separate from those you know and sometimes we can get into that feeling sometimes we can hold that vibration of uncertainty not having that confidence in ourselves not having the patience for ourselves to belief and faith within that and it's just like they're telling you be very selective of the ownership of vibrations you choose to keep you know it could be somebody else's a lot of times with us being who we are we have energy vampires you know different things that really drains us that makes us question ourselves you know makes us be selective and you have to be that type of person i had to learn from the hard way if you got to be selective about what you talk about because it makes other people uncomfortable or what you speak on is weird you know because with us being empaths a lot of times we talk about different things that make you want to uh, really expand the mind and some people don't like that you know i've heard people like why you talk about stuff like that that's so weird and i'm just like i'm uh, why because i don't want to talk about what's going on down the street you know what pookie and boo-boo and them doing you know being stuff like that i like to be able to talk about how the shift of uh you know i love talking about um, quantum physics i love talking about you you know evolution you know being able to change going through transference energy transference you know all these different things you know toxicity you know um being complacent you know all those different things and some people don't like talking about stuff like that and it, it's just like you're being able to understand when you're going through we're going through un uncomfortable stages right now and they're telling me you know that their vibration of being very uncomfortable you're stepping out of an alignment that you've been you know stepping out of a frequency that you know you've been comfortable in for too long and a lot of times when we're going through the stuff we're going through you can give universe a side eye you probably giving it to me too was like Riles, i'm not comfortable where i'm at we know you're not but it's the fact is when we have dealt with things for so long, we got used to how those things are. And a lot of times we got into that vibration of where it's feeling that things can't get better. Or you're in a situation where you're in a relationship feeling that's all you deserve. Don't own that ownership just because of the fact is you catered to that mess for like five or, five or six months or five or six years. You know, or five or six centuries. You know, and all those different things that you have gone through or whatever. This is it's like you're going through transition and transition ain't easy change is not easy these are the different things that are taking place in the life where this is deserving of us you have to be able to understand anything is off fair base or if it's something that's you know that is pulling up a memory number one if it, it'll be different if you're walking down memory lane and saying i remember this i remember that you know i had a bad habit of doing stuff like that it, it can be one thing and it keyed off another keyed off another next you know i'm in a bad mood ready to fight somebody and it was just like only person i can do is blame them and i took ownership of that and it's just like if anything else comes up it's like i know it's when i wash dishes and i'll be cleaning a lot of different things will come up even when i'm scrubbing my body and saying you know different rituals and junk like that and all of a sudden this stuff is coming up and there'll be times that i will get so uncomfortable it's just like 
like I'm not trying to think about that. Why do these different things keep coming up? I'm, you know, I'm trying to make peace with that person. I'm trying to make peace and forgiveness to that person in the situation. It's because you're releasing that. Don't take, don't continue to take ownership of that. That was just a life lesson. That was just the experience for you to grow. This is experience for you to know how people truly are, how you truly are, what your surrounding truly is, what needs to change, what needs to be healed, what needs to be able to be disconnected. Take ownership of that. You know, anything that is getting into that point where it's making you feel self-doubt, it's making you belittle yourself, is talking to you negatively. Because a lot of people have told me this as well as I experienced it. When I've gone through a very big um, leap, like kind of, you want to call it quantum leap, whatever. Uh, you've gone through a leap or even gone through spiritual awakening. There'll be different vibration that tells you that you don't deserve to still be breathing your children don't deserve you your you, you don't deserve your children or you don't deserve to be in this world you you know any kind of negative talk because it wants you to hold ownership to that to the point where it wants you to believe that nah son <laughs> you ain't supposed to be believing anything like that you are here because you matter you hold a place of purpose for a change you hold a place place of purpose for love you know compassion all those things that is coded in the warm and fuzzies that's what you're supposed to take ownership of, you know. And it's just like, I ain't going to say any names, but they know who I'm talking about. Because I, I told them I was going to make a video off of this. And it's just like, you don't, sometimes you can't tell the difference. Or there will be different times in your mind where it will control your emotions of what has happened. What things you can't change. What people have said to you. What they instilled on you to try to make it feel like you weren't worth that. You know, or try to define you in a certain situation where you you don't even involve you evolve you you evolve so many times, and they they haven't etched, etched and sketched that that situation that vibration of you yet. It's like allow them to do that. You know, you ain't even there anymore. They tell you you took ten spaces for it already, and you about to catapult into another twenty just by the swift decision you're willing to make. And these are the different things they're telling you. Own ownership of that. You allow yourself to take away the different weights of other people's problems, other people's changes that they're not ready to commit to to change. You let those go. You're allowing yourself to do that. You know, and they're always telling us, don't be judgmental of people that are not in that vibration of changing yet. You know, don't be judgmental of trying to force something on somebody that they're not ready to admit to or commit to. It's okay. You know. Because they'll, you know, and it's just like times you, it was like, oh, a person gets on nerves and I don't know it's a gift from God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Where there's many times people have probably got a headache and a half and probably then some of when they're trying to tell you, hey, just let that go. Hey, just heal. You know, like, look, I'm doing it. And, you know, and they're, they're just telling you something that universe got them to tell you and you weren't ready to go for that yet. And I see this, just see, there it go. <laughs> you know, it's that gift. But. But then they're telling you don't 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 do that. It's just like exactly everybody is holding the tool to their self to what they're used to. Or there'll be different times that you're you having to drop that frequency that you are used to. You know. But we only can do what we can do for us. You know, it's it's just like being able to uh drop that seed and just say, Hey, you do what you want to do with that. Either you can put this in your flower pot and allow that, you know, you nourish that and you do what you need to do, or you can put this and collect it with the other seeds that you you know, you've been collecting. I'ma do me. You know, and this at that time, like you have to hold this you know, that vibration and saying, This is my turn, this is my change, this is you know, this is my my vibration of where it's going to is 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 taking a reroute and I'm trying to go wherever it needs to go. And these are the different things that's taken on into your life where you'll feel different energies and it's just like, you know, what us going through huge change. You can see anything that's disrupted to the soul and it'll start making you nervous, start making you antsy like no, 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 no. It's like, what are you doing? Uh, uh, I don't know. Or you can't talk, or you, you know, you get stuck on your words. You know, I used to think about that. It was just like, wow, wow, I start feeling like that. Like, whoa, 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 put your brakes on. You know, I'm just like, you know, why does this person get apprehensive with me? You know, and it's just like, all I did is say something. I wasn't saying that to be triggering, but it triggered them. That tells you a lot about something. It's like, hey, don't take ownership of that. 
And you know that that's more of a personal problem. They ain't got nothing to do with you. That's some personal problem with them. But it's just like peep game. But allow yourself not to take ownership of that. That's not your your vibration. That's not your vibe. That's not your zing. You know. And this is at that time where universe is telling you whatever you want to take ownership of. Allow that ownership to be something that's gonna upgrade you. Allow that to be that up. You know that thing, that vibration is gonna open doors for you. Allow yourself to be in that clear purpose of knowing I flow this vibration of being open and doors of prosperity abundance anything that is is coating in something beautiful you know manifesting whatever it is that you're doing regardless even if the experiences that you're going through is really challenging that that's what's going to strengthen that you know because right now you may have been writing down different goals you don't wrote down you know if there's a if it's a thought in your head and you write it down that's a goal well no that's a dream when you allow yourself to put a date on that dream, that's a goal. When you're allowing yourself to put in the action on how to be able to manifest that goal, that's a manifestation. That you put in power into that. And that's the things they want you to be able to start manifesting. That's the things that they want you to hold into your ownership. Don't hold on to frequencies that's making it feel iffy. Like it's back and forth. It's like a rotating door. Don't hold on to that. Different vibration of other people. Of what, where it's making you question where you fit in it. That's an actual no. Anything that shifty is telling you it's a no. <laughs> you know, anything that comes from God is a definite yes. Preparation. Elevation. Separation. Isolation. You're going through them issues. You know, you're going through all those different things that is allowing you to do that. That's why a lot of us is going into that, that solitude mode or where you feel like you just got to step back and do you. Because this is at that time where they're telling you to really pay attention to yourself. Really pay attention to yourself. Pay attention to yourself about the things that you really need to go into huge transference with. You're going through a huge transition in life and that mess feels very uncomfortable. Because they keep on putting that vibrant because you're going through within. You're learning different lessons from the past. So there's a lot of things that's wanting to manifest in your head. Where ego, fear, projection of fear. All these different things is trying to, you know, want, want you to RSVP. And it's like, nah. You want to come to the party? No, go ahead and party without me. But, you know, you ain't got to come back. You want me to text you? No, you ain't even got to do that. You know, you can be one of those type of vibrations. Like, uh-uh, you ain't got to tell me when you come back. We good. You ain't even got to come back. You got evicted. You ain't even got to get no... You can't get a 30 days notice. You got plenty of things that want to go ahead and vacate with you. You want to go ahead <laughs> and, and migrate with you. Or being in that conjunction, conjunction. Whatever you want to do it. You know? And it'll be those different things where it's just like you're at this vibration where you have to be able to pay attention to you. That's why it feels so lonely. That's the reason why things is dropping off where it is. Because it's not vibing in that, that same frequency as you anymore. You'll start noticing different things like I said before in the other video you'll start seeing different things you used to cater to you you know uh-uh what do you mean uh-uh uh-uh <laughs> no, i'm not that that's not speaking to my soul i'm just talking fluid and transition migration this is like no <laughs> like no Mm -mm, I don't speak that language anymore. And you'll start noticing that thing. Even when it gets to that point where you're ready to lash out, it's going to tell you, shh. Be speaking. Watch. Just watch. <laughs> and then you'll be able to, you know, just observe a lot of stuff. And then it'll be, because there's a lot of times we don't realize when we, we you're like, you're trying to focus. You got all that confusion going on. You got all that confusion going on. And it'll even be like, I'll be trying to pray. And then it's just like, I'm trying to pray. And then universe over here giving me downloads. I say, I don't want God to make it feel like I ain't serious on what I need to talk to him about. But when I'm sitting up here trying to talk about something, all of a sudden, next thing you know, I see flying monkeys. And you know, I don't want to talk about no daggone flying monkeys right now. I'm trying to talk about me healing and letting go. You know what I mean? Different things. I'm talking about no flying monkeys. I'm like, I don't want to talk about no flying monkeys. But it'll be different things that's going on right now where things is really getting crazy. Really getting crazy. So it's telling you to separate from that old vibration. Speak different. Look different. Move towards certain things different. Allow yourself to try new things. Allow yourself to do things that scare the mess out of you. 
Those are the things we want you to take ownership of. Because when you're doing that, you're finding out different traits of yourself that you didn't know it was there. You'll have hidden ambitions and talents that you didn't know it was there. You moving yourself in propositions that you didn't even really know that was propositioning to you in the first place. It was waiting for you to get into that connection. And when they're wanting you to do that, that's why they're telling you take ownership. Allow yourself to be selective of the ownership that you choose to select. You know? Anything that is not growing or flowing, healing or evolving you, that's not something you want to own. I'm not an owner to that. <laughs> like you want to sign a contract? No. No. Uh-uh. I'm good. You know, uh-uh. He was like, buy here, pay here. Okay, well, I might buy, buy here and I ain't trying to pay here. I ain't even trying to stay here, to be honest with you. You know, and those are the different things that's taken on into your life. Where they're saying being selective of what you choose. You make choices. Only you choose. The only things that you can make choices to choose. Being very selective about what you choose to select. You know, it's like you being picky. Uh, yeah, I sure am. I am being very picky. If this is going to be an investment or a huge setback, I want to make sure I want to know what I'm investing in. You know, and those are the different things. You're seeing the situations that you were placed in before. They tell you to look at this, look at the people that you had around you. Look at the red flags that you had. Look at the red flags you held for yourself. You're going through huge changes in your life. And it's getting very uncomfortable and it's moving at rapid rate. Those changes are really moving at rapid rate with you. It, it's like where you're allowing yourself to know. Even when it hurts you to have to go through something where you have to let somebody go that hold you hold dear. But a lot of times people don't you gotta be able to let go of people that already don't let go of you. You have to be comfortable with that. And a lot of times it's hard to be able to do that. But these are the different things. If it's meant to come back, you know how they say, you know, uh, if you love something, let it go. If it comes back, then, you know, if it don't come back, you you know, if it comes back, you never know or something like that. But you know what I'm talking about. It will be one of those different things. You have to be able to allow yourself to be at peace with what's taking place in life. And this is where they, you know, you tell God it's uncomfortable. I know it is. And you know what I mean? The thing about my mom It's like, I know it is, baby, but this is something that's best for you. You know, I'm tired of this. Well, I'm tired of that. Okay, but you ain't got to complain about it. You know, when you complain about it, you putting action into it. Are you doing things that's going to make you get out of that situation or making you being tired? No. Then, okay, then you ain't tired. Start doing things that you already know. If you know you're tired, you're going to get aggressive. I ain't about to let this do this. I ain't about to let this do that. All right, take ownership of that. You taking ownership of change. You taking ownership of accountability. You taking ownership of knowing you have control of your motives, of actions, your thoughts, how you speak, how you move about it, and how you address things. Even though you ain't got even, there are certain situations you ain't even got to address. Just your silence was enough to address that situation. If you already know, if it's something positive that you know you can be able to place and it's not going to be, argue, you know, certain situations and certain people you just can't say certain things to because it's going to become combative. And if you already know it's going to be a combative situation, just let it do what it do. Sometimes even when you write, you need to stay quiet. As long as you know. Okay. <laughs> and be committed to that. But I hope you are able to resonate with the content of this video, y'all. Much love to you. I would love to give a post notification shout out to uh, Storm. Much love to you as well. And um, mm, 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 mm. let me see. Nathan Stevens, much love to you as well. If you're new to the channel, please drop a line. I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. You know, um, it's all about... Uh, uh, I leave my contact information in the description box below. It's all about spiritual networking, being able to help people further their purpose, have a deeper understanding about their path of purpose, understand why certain things happen the way they did and where is it leading to them to. And, you know, I love to be a part of that just to be able to help. You know, we're all learning and growing off of, of different things that we have gone through. And just to be able to heal and be able to share those experiences with other people that may contribute towards their growth, growth is truly a blessing. So I love to be a part of that. You know, whatever we discuss is confidential because I know a lot of times where you want to be able to speak to somebody but you don't feel comfortable when you find certain things here that you want to be able to be open and you want to share that with the world you know that's why I always tell people hit me up one on one you know I'll be able to try my best to be able to help but you have to be able to get in touch with me you know um and you make that first move I initiate it you just got to make the first move so you know I try my best to be able to help out the way I can I also if you're interested in um podcasting even if you're interested in listening to it or being a part of that anchor app is best 
it really is they you know they're really good very simple you know always tell people hey you know your story can be heard put that on podcasting you know it's very simple you know i mean it's just like everything you need is within that that one at no rss fees no all these extra programs you got to download and it you know they send you know i'm advertising uh anchor app on here but it's just it lets you know where um uh, where is it? They let you know where your your uh, podcast is being shared at. You know, it's just like with different minds. Mine is just like on Apple. Uh, uh, what is it? Apple Casting or whatever they want to call it. iVox. Uh, in listening and stuff like that. I was just like, wow, I didn't even know that. But, it, you know, it just makes me feel good that I can be able to share, you know, uh, words of wisdom and insights. You know, even, even from videos as well as podcasting. You know, I always tell people, you know, step out your vibrations and do something different. You know, if you ever wanted to be a part of a part podcast, you know, making your own podcast, go ahead and do that. You know, it's real fun. I like doing mine. I never thought I was. I, I had one of my my soul uh, call my I don't even call my soul sister. I've seen her like as my little my little my little sister or you know more of my niece because she always called me auntie. She used to do it all the time, and there will be different times. She's like auntie, I don't, you know, I'm doing it by myself, and I don't know how. To, baby, just go to the flow with it. Just go ahead. You ain't gotta. Be, you just write down the content. And you flow with it. Freestyle. You know. You know. <laughs> it's like freestyle. Just go ahead and go with it. Don't don't be so you know textbook with it. Just allow yourself to be natural and go with it. And I tell people, you know, it's it's okay to do because I never thought I was gonna be able to do something like that. But I think that was universe preparing me for that to be able to do it. And when I say I enjoy it, I truly truly do. But um, yeah, if you ever want to, you know, please get in touch with me. I'll show you how to do it, or just send you the link to it, and you you know just let it do what you do. And you know, if you need help with it, I, you know, I try my best to be able to help out the best way I can. So um, if you ever feel generous enough to drop a donation, I'll also leave the cash app there as well. Uh, I hope you have a blessed safe weekend. Please be responsible and safe for everything you do. Whatever you're trying to manifest into your life. Anything that you're trying to get into your life to manifest that. I'm sending so many vibrations. Whatever you're needing to stay consistent. To keep going. Stay fluent with yourself. You know, I'm sending those 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 vibrations towards you. Whatever you need towards 10, 20 million. You know, to be able to help you through that. Because I know it can be hard. You know, trying to be able to manifest different things in your life. And you're really just not seeing, you know, the fruits of your labor onto that. Please do not stop. Do not stop. If you just need a break for it, be a, you know, get a break, take a pause for the cause, but just do not allow yourself to stop. You know, just take a break, take a rest and come right back and stay persistent and consistent. The devil will make you want to give up today just because he knew that door of opportunity of blessings going to open tomorrow. So you stay on that. Okay. Have a blessed, safe weekend. Namaste. I say shalom. God bless. Peace. Love. Talk to you soon or you'll talk to me soon. Whatever. Bye.